Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom footer for your blogger website. So this is the footer that we're going to design for our blogger website. We have this quick links over here for different pages of our website. And then we have some social media icons over here. And uh, then we have this uh, sentence over here. So this is a custom footer that we're going to add in our blogger website. So in this video, I'll show you how to design this whole footer from scratch using HTML and CSS. And then we will add this to our blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, so I have opened a new project in VS Code and in that I have a folder called images. And in that we have the icons of Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So we'll be using this in our footer. Alright, so first of all, let's create an HTML file and then we'll style it using CSS and then we'll add all those code to our blogger theme. So first of all, let's create an HTML file and let's also create a CSS file. Now in VS Code, you already have an extension called Emmet installed. So you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 code. So let's link our style.css file over here and uh, in the body we will start with the markup for our footer. So the first thing is uh, we'll create a footer tag and in that we'll create a division to contain everything inside the footer. So we'll create a division with a class of footer container and uh, then we have two parts for this footer. One is this left part over here and then we have the right part. So for the left part, we will create a division with the class of footer left. So let's create a division with the class of footer left. And for the right part, we'll create a division with the class of footer right. Now let's start with the left part. So first of all, we have this heading over here. So for that, we will use an H4. And I will just type quick links. And uh, after that, we have these uh, list items. So for that, we'll create an unordered list. So we'll type UL. And in that, we'll have an LI for the list items. And in that, we'll have anchor tags. And in the href, you can link the pages. So here we have home. So you can just type the main page of your website over here. Then we have about. For that, you can type the link of the about page. For now, I'll just leave it as hash. You can change this according to your website. So the first one is home. Then we have about contact and privacy policy. So let's copy this and paste it three more times. And the next one is about. Then we have contact. Then we have privacy policy. All right, that's it with the left part. Now on the right part, we have a heading as well. So let's create an H4. And uh, we'll type follow us on. And in that we have these three icons for Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So let's create a division with the class of social icons. And here we'll create anchor tags. And in that we will add our images. So we'll type IMG. And in the sources, we'll type images slash Instagram logo.png. So these images are from this directory over here. All right, so let's copy this two more times. And the next one is Facebook. And then we have Twitter. And then lastly, we have this sentence. So let's copy this. And outside this social icons division, we will create a paragraph and we'll paste the sentence over here. All right, so that's basically it with the markup of our footer. So let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So I can just right click over here and click on open with live server. So this is how our uh, footer looks right now. These images are not visible because they are in white color. So now let's go ahead and start styling this footer. So here I am in the style.css file. We have already linked our style.css file to our HTML. First of all, let's create a comment and we'll write footer and uh, then we'll target the footer tag. So we'll type footer and uh, we will give it a background color of black. 
and we have some margins and paddings over here by default so let me just remove them so I'll just add a universal selector and uh, I'll just remove the margins and the paddings we're not gonna add these to our blogger theme we'll just add everything from this line onwards so first of all we have the background color as black then we'll set the color of the text to FC 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 which is uh, light gray now when you set the color of the text to this light gray these anchor tags are not changing the color because they have this color already applied to it so we have to target that specifically so we'll tap footer space a to target the anchor tags and we'll set the color to FC 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 and we'll also remove the underlines so we'll tap text decoration to none and we'll also set the font family to Roboto now when we hover over these anchor tags we need to have the underline so we'll type footer a colon hover and we'll set text decoration to underline so now when we hover over this we can see we have the underline now the next thing is that we want to have the footer left on the left side and the footer right on the right side so if you go to the index.html file we can see we have created a division with a class of footer container and in that we have the footer left and the footer right divisions so we can set the display of footer container to display flex so if you set that then uh, both the divisions will be one next to the other so let's target that we'll tap footer footer container and we'll set the display to flex so now we can see the footer left is on the left side and the footer right is on the right side let's also add some padding to the footer so we'll set a padding of 36 pixels alright now let's target the unordered list so we'll type footer ul and we'll set the list style to none to get rid of these bullets and we'll also have a margin top so we'll type margin top of 16 pixels so now we can see we have this spacing between the heading and uh, this ul the next thing we will style is the list items inside the ul so we'll type footer ul li and uh, we will add a margin of 12 pixels for top and bottom and uh, 8 pixels for left and right now if you take a look at the original design we can see that we have this uh, line over here on the right of uh, the footer left so let's add a border right to this uh, division so we'll type footer footer left and uh, first of all let's add a padding right of 100 pixels and uh, then we will add a border right of one pixel solid c4 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 all right now let's target the footer right so we'll tap footer footer right and we'll set a padding left of 100 pixels now let's target the social icons division so we'll tap footer social icons and uh, we'll set a margin top of 16 pixels just like we did with the ul and in social icons uh, we have these anchor tags so when you hover over this we can see we have a little bit of underline so let's remove the underlines so we'll type footer social icons a text decoration to none now we don't have the underlines now let's target the images and uh, let's set a margin left and margin right so we'll type margin 0 for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right now we need to remove the margin of the first item over here so for that we'll type footer social icons img colon first child so this is select the first image and we'll set the margin left to 0 and lastly we have the paragraph so for the paragraph we'll set a margin top so we'll type footer footer right p and uh, we'll set a margin top of 32 pixels All right that's basically it with uh, the design of our footer now let's go ahead and add this to our blogger website so here i'm in the dashboard of my blogger website let's go to theme and then click on this arrow beside customize and then click on edit html and then scroll down to the bottom and uh, just before the body ends we will add this uh, html so go to your code editor and uh, copy this HTML from the footer 
to the end of the footer and we'll paste it right here and we'll also add our styles so let's copy these styles from here from this line over here to the last line and we'll paste it in place of all the styles we have in our theme so let's scroll up and uh, see where the styles are so we can see these are the styles so below these we will add the current styles all right now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to change the url of the images so right now we can see this is images slash instagram logo dot png but we currently don't have a directory called images inside our blogger theme so we need to upload the image to blogger and then add the link of that image over here so first of all let's upload the images so for that let's create a page and uh, we just upload it in that page and uh, let's click on insert image and then click on upload from computer and then click on choose files so here's our project let's go to images and uh, let's add all these images now select all these images and click on select and we can see the three images have been added over here so let's click on one of these and this is the URL of the image let's click on edit link and just copy this link and uh, let's see which is this image so this is for the Facebook let's go to edit template and uh, paste the link instead of the current Facebook link so in the same way we'll do with the other images as well this is for Instagram copy this and paste it over here and the same with the Twitter link right now let's click on save theme and let's go back and let's view our blog and see whether we have the footer so here we can see our footer is being displayed now we want this to be displayed in the center so for that we have to set a different width to our footer container division and we also have some problem over here so let's inspect and here we can see for the ul we have some left padding so let me just type padding of the left to 8 pixels or 10 pixels All right these are the two things we need to do we need to set a padding left to our footer ul and we also have to set the width of the footer container and uh, then center it so let's go back to the theme code and let's go to the CSS and uh, for the UL let's set a padding left of 10 pixels and for the footer container let's set a width of 900 pixels and uh, center it by typing margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right so let's save it and see whether it works and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see our footer is being displayed correctly let's open another page and see whether we have the footer still available and we still have the footer over here now this was the previous footer of this uh, website now whenever you are editing the footer of any theme that you download you always have to keep in mind that you have to credit the creator of the theme so you cannot simply remove the credits and advertise it as your own design you can give credits to the designer over here on the last line if you want and then remove this uh, existing footer so if you want to remove the existing footer you can just right click over here and inspect and see the name of the division so here we have a footer with an ID of footer so if you just set the display of this footer to none this footer will be removed but always remember to credit the original designer of the theme so I'll just show you how to remove this uh, current one so let's go over here and uh, we will add footer with an ID of footer and uh, I'll just type display to none and uh, let's save this and then let's go over here and refresh our page and now we can see that our footer is being displayed over here so that's basically how you create a custom footer for your blogger website
so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day